Hey, St. Louis Church men, it's Pastor Andrew here, excited to continue to talk with you. I am uh, self-filming today. My camera crew, aka my wife Becca, is unavailable right now, so I still wanted to, to communicate with you, to stay in touch, and, and really drive us forward to where God's calling us. You know, I think these are important times uh, as we continue to deal with this crisis. Uh, you've probably seen things uh, in yourself, things coming out. Uh, maybe frustrations or fear uh, that are, you know, maybe you're just bored and tired of being cooped up, uh, not able to do the things you love. And I, I love Pastor Matt's message this weekend, just really challenging us to not uh, buy into all the stuff we're hearing. Like, even as I'm filming, I'm getting alerts from uh, news. And I mean, it's so ridiculous. I get caught up in listening to this stuff and people on both sides arguing with each other. And it feels like that's the main thing right now, but here's the reality. The main thing is whatever God's doing. It's not all those other things. Those things are uh, symptomatic of brokenness in our world, and the reality is after COVID-19 is over, something else is going to replace it, something that's going to grab our attention or cause fear or anger or anxiety, and there's always going to be trouble and ter uh, tribulations in this world. And that's a promise that we have in Scripture. We know there's always going to be trouble, but we also know that God is faithful and He's going to lead us through. And so I love this series being about the end times. And if you didn't watch Pastor Matt's message, you need to this week. Um, just really looking at what does God say about what's going on in the world? You know, every time something big happens, we feel like it's the end of the world. And it, it could be. But that doesn't matter for us as much as us sharing Jesus, as us living for Him, as us leading our families to Him. And man, I want you to think about people in your life uh, that don't know Jesus. And are you staying in touch with them? Are you speaking truth? I've got three people that I just stay in touch with no matter what because I want to keep taking steps toward leading them to Christ eventually. And so uh, I, I'm thinking about where are they at in relation to Jesus and what does this all mean for them? And uh, what does it mean for me? I, I don't know about you, but I get fearful when I think about the end of the world and eternity and something that doesn't end doesn't make sense to me. But when I sit and slow down and reflect, I realize, man, there is nowhere else I want to be than with Jesus for all of eternity with peace and hope and love and all, all the things that are often absent in this world. And so I want to encourage you to, if you're struggling, to shift your mindset, to maybe confess that you've been stuck in a bad pattern of thinking and to really try and get out of it because there's always been hard times. Man, you look at the book of Acts and we see the church thriving then, but it was hard times. They were being persecuted. They were being tortured. It was not easy uh, for them. And we see characters, men arise like Paul, who was formerly Saul. And uh, man, he, God just called him out in the midst of uh, him going his own way. God called him out and, and called him uh, to be his mouthpiece, to be a vessel of truth and hope. And he brought the gospel to the world. He, he's one of the main reasons why we know Jesus now. And I want to encourage you to be that. This is a time not for us to shrink back and to get uh, overly comfortable. This is a time, yes, we can rest, but we also need to push ahead because uh, the world is a hard place and hard things are going to continue to happen. And the world needs the church and the church needs men to step up and be who God has called us to be. He's given us strength. He's given us the strength that we need to stand up and to be the light of the world and to take action. And so, man, if you're leading a group, I want to challenge you to be present to the men in your group. I want to challenge you uh, to listen to the messages. I want to challenge you to not check out, uh, but to communicate. That's not our strong point. Communicate with people. Text them to see how they're doing. Uh, dive into these discussion questions and really wrestle with them. Uh, whether you're working from home or somewhere else or you're looking for a job, wherever you're at, man, wrestle with how do you feel about the end times? How do you feel about when things don't go right? Uh, are you trusting in God? And stay plugged in. Don't check out. Uh, I want to encourage you to share this video with your group members or people that you know, uh, just to give them a, a little a uh, kick in the pants, a little punch in the arm, just something to wake us up. Man, I need it, and I know that you need it as well. And so we're in this together. We're stronger together, and we're still marching in courage. I love you guys, praying for you. 
keep up the great work.